So it's laundry day. I thought I'd show you how I do laundry without using the washing machine. <coughs> I do have a washing machine, but I tend to only use it for larger objects like blankets and things. Um, because washing things, washing those large things by hand, uh, it sucks. So, <laughs> you know, but like the clothes that I wear every single day, um, shoes, five gallon buckets. And these are actually, they serve as my hampers too. So I just throw dirty clothes directly into um, here, whites, colors. These are cheap as hell. Um, start running some warm water. Why is it already warm? What the hell happened? I don't trust that. Okay, I trust that now. Weird. I took a shower recently. I think that's why it's still warm. Put a little soap in there. One of the really <coughs> nice things about doing laundry this way is you can control the amount of water and soap and whatever a lot more than you can with a washing machine. If I was to wash this amount of clothes in the washing machine, it would use three or four times as much water because this is, this is a really small load. <laughs> So, even on the lowest load setting on my washing machine, it would use way more water than this. So I try to reserve the washing machine for genuinely large stuff. And a bit of borax. Close it. Put some water into it. It's still hot, right? I'm gonna help it out a little bit to dissolve some of that soap and stuff. That's hot water with my whites and soap and borax. And while that one's filling over there, just agitate it. Get that soap all the way in there. And the, uh, one of the reasons that I use the bar soap is it's way cheaper. <laughs> it's the cheapest shit I can find. And it works just fine. Well, sometimes if I have um, blue things, I'll actually put it in with the white. That will improve the color. The, um, usually I just have like 
almost black things and sometimes a red. Definitely don't want that with the whites. <coughs> red will make it, the, the color leeches a little bit. It'll make it look, it'll make your whites look um, worse. Not that my clothes are forever old and stained with things, so it's not like I look fancy or anything. But if you're more careful about stuff than me, you care more about appearance than me. These little things can, for basically no effort, make a difference. Now at this point, like they both have hot water, I'll just flip the bathtub over to cold. So when I come back to do a rinse, um, I don't have to think about it. It's already on cold, just turn it on and same thing. So what I'll do is I'll drain this um, in a few hours, right? In a few hours, come back, drain this, wring everything out, put them back in the bucket um, with cold water. And then let that sit for a little while. <coughs> and also, also agitated then. This may be four gallons max. And four gallons for everything. My washing machine can't run away from this small amount of water. stop to talk so I'll just leave this let the hot soapy water do its thing and uh, it can do other things and then come back to it and you can leave this until this evening it's fine it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything crazy you're not gonna get mold growing in borax soap water <laughs> It'll take a while. It'll take a while. And we will eventually, like if you leave it for a week or something, but, you know, even if I, if I come back to it tomorrow morning, the the clothes will smell a little weird after they're washed, because um, things will actually start growing at that point, but as long as you catch it today, finish rinsing, and then you can run them through the dryer or hang them out to dry whatever um, as long as you get them dried within a day it's fine 